Hey, kitties. Man, I got a WD-40 this chair. It's gonna kill me. So anyway, kids, just a quick little update here. Uh, something very important, and then a couple questions that you guys asked that I'm gonna try to answer. First off, say hello to my high-definition, brand spanking new Panasonic. Aww. Steve, you idiot, if you've got this brand new amazing video camera, why aren't you recording on it? Well, okay. It only records in AVC HD format, and uh, Windows Movie Maker doesn't support that format, so I wouldn't be able to edit my footage. And the, I'm currently in the process of trying to uh, get something called Pinnacle Studios 12, which will accept the footage so that I'll be able to edit uh, Double Jump Company videos in high definition. And it'll be awesome. So you know what? You know, go around, you look at these things, and it's like, man, this, this must have cost you so much, Steve. It's so small, but it must have been so expensive, right? $310. Because I bargained with the guy. This was originally 550 bucks or something like that. So, come on. Really? Honestly? 310 bucks. I swear I almost cried. In other news, I have been playing Batman Arkham Asylum religiously. Not only that, but Batman Arkham Asylum has just recently won the Guinness World Record for most critically acclaimed superhero video game. Which really, if you play it, it's so true. This is not only one of the best superhero, the best superhero game I've ever played, but one of the best video games I've ever played, ever. Which is saying quite a bit, because I've played quite a few video games. Uh, in an answer to somebody else's question, I, again, I completely forget who it was, somebody asked me a while ago if I saw District 9. And if I did, they'd like to hear my response. I did see District 9. I saw it before in Glorious Bastards. And I personally enjoyed it. I thought that it was a fun little movie uh, that kind of, that seemed to come out of nowhere, you know, like, oh, by the way, here's District 9, it's about aliens, it's directed by Peter Jackson, or produced, or whatever, he's involved, and it's awesome, check it out. Um, for those of you who haven't seen it, I'm not gonna give you any spoilers, but for those of you who have, I'm gonna say, I definitely enjoyed it, um, the, the style it was shot in was very good, I think, it wasn't Cloverfield, but it was almost like, you know, you're watching a documentary, like, literally watching a documentary about these aliens, and it was really interesting. At the same time, I didn't feel like it was this groundbreaking masterpiece that everyone's making it out to be. One of the com biggest complaints I had was the fact that, you know, the humans understood the language, which I didn't necessarily get. Um, I understood that they had to tell a story and stuff like that, but I felt it would have been better if you had somebody there who was a translator for these aliens instead of you know, oh hey, I instantly know what <laughs> means. Because that just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's kind of like in Star Wars when Chewbacca goes <laughs> and then Han Solo goes, you said it, Chewie. He said what? What did Chewbacca say? Please, Harrison Ford, tell me. Because I didn't hear anything. But yeah, District 9 was very, very well done and very good. Um, people are already talking about uh, Best Picture. Um, which is exciting because I actually have a, a, a slight desire to watch the Academy Awards this year because instead of five Best Picture nominees, there are ten, which automatically puts 500 Days of Summer and Inglorious Bastards on the list. It's got to because those were two of the Best Pictures of the year. And now I just have to wait for Oscar bait season. I hate Oscar bait season. So anyway, yeah, that's about it. Um, I've got a couple of other things going on pretty soon here. Um, I have this huge list of movies that I haven't seen yet. Um, and I'm subscribing to Netflix, and I'm going to video rental stores, and I'm going to be picking up movies that I haven't seen, and I'm going to be reviewing them on Double Jump Company. Because it's what I do. Uh, after that, I've got a couple more surprises uh, up my sleeve for you guys, and I've got a special behind-the-scenes look at my new movie coming out, my short film, entitled A Sunflower. But shooting starts tomorrow. I'm pretty stoked. Um, and like I said, it should be up here by November. So yeah, this is a really short update because... I have to go back and play Arkham Asylum because it is that good. I'm not joking around. I suggest you pick it up. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is me in my beautiful Panasonic. 
wishing you adieu.